Okay, so I wanted to show you some things from my past. Things I've been involved in, people I've known, things I've done, and even personal pictures of my own life. It's been a fun ride so far. I've enjoyed it. And uh, what I'm dealt with now, I don't know if I want that sticky soupy spoon, but you know how it goes. So hey, I wanted to get on this one thing. There's a guy that I met when I was like 15, 16 years old. I had a bunch of guitars. And I was playing out in the front yard. He was walking by. This was in Port Coquitlam, British Columbia. And uh, he came over and he introduced himself and we got to be a friends. And so I got to play a couple of um, guitars for him. I let him play some of my guitars. I sold him one of my guitars. And uh, this was years and years ago, like. I was growing Panama red on my balcony at this time. My mom and my brother were into some nefarious stuff, and it, it was all fun and good, you know. Nobody got hurt. Everybody was happy. But if any of you, any of you recognize this, yeah, I know it's backwards because of it. That's the way the fucking shit happens on these laptops, but. This was our first show. And on the back of this. One of the first songs we wrote. Kept that for a. Oh my god, 1982, I think? Yeah. So I got the big book out. That big book. This book is everything about my life. Everything about my life. I open this book and... <clears throat> there's some of my credentials right there, yeah. Okay. <coughs> when I worked in Hell's Kitchen, all of my pay stubs from when I worked at Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, there's a lot of them, all right? There's a lot of them, all right? Yeah, we could get into some of the stuff like way back when, man. Like Christ. The day I was born. Yeah, that's me. I was only a couple hours old there. Oh. I've never shown anybody this picture. I gotta be careful because I got one of my first, my first hair is right there in the book. I don't want to lose that. Now do I? My first birthday. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I 
Sorry, folks, I'm not doing well right now. That's probably why I'm going through this. Come on. Come on. These have been in here so long, it's hard to get them out. My first day at the beach in Comox, British Columbia. Look at that, eh? Yeah, there you go. We'll get into those two pages later. I know all your parents out there. You try and catch your child's first steps. The first steps as, as they walk, right? So. My dad told me that he waited around for three days with a camera, followed me everywhere, just to get my first steps. Never give up, people. Never give up. Camera is your best tool for your memories because memories last forever. Well, that's all. My first dog, her name was Sam. One day this will all go in a book about me, you know? My first walk with my dad on Comox Air Force Base. Now we're getting into the good stuff. This is when I started school. Village Park Elementary, 1970. Wow. I don't want to get... Now, I went to school with a lot of famous people, man. You know, it comes up through the years. Jaffe Burke, Bridgeport. And then we get to Mary Hill. Wow. Maybe the Huggins will remember these photos here because uh, there's some famous people in these photos. Anchor woman for Global TV News, Lynn Collier. Can I get it out? 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 Without ruining it. There we go. Well, okay. I'm on the bottom row, right there, and right there is Lynn Collier, Global TV anchor, newswoman, there she is, and that's 1977, the year Star Wars came out, there you go. Oh, the other people in here that are famous? Um, well, Mr. Inkster was pretty famous in himself, but let me look here. Uh, this guy here, Tommy Mares, owned Mares Transport, one of the biggest trucking companies in uh, British Columbia. Uh, let me look here. BC Lion. Right there, he was a BC Lion. He was a BC Lion. And Payne. 
I also went to school with Mark Washington. No, we went to school forever and ever. I want to get into some other stuff here that I did. All right. Oh, boy. 81, 82. Jeez. Clay Campbell, Mark Washington, or uh, George Peckrell, car driver and builder George Peckrell. I grew up with him. Shit, man. First car I built for the PE parade. Look at that. These go together. That's the day I died. All shot up to shit, man. The little boy is my son. He was taken from me when he was four and a half years old. <laughs> Two days after this photo, his mother and him died in a crash. That's his mother with me, my first wife, Kimberly Ann Surratt, <clears throat> great great granddaughter of Marie Surratt, the woman that supplied the gun to kill President Lincoln. That was my first wife. We lived in Saskatoon. Hell of a place to live. On a good note, though, when I got back from all that, well, I don't even think this would come out of here. Oh, no, it won't. Oh, I ruined it. Shit. Well, anyway. I borrowed Perry, Perry Obadinsky's guitar, and I headed for Vancouver, downtown Vancouver, because Randy, he uh, invited me to come in with him, and um, I think uh, Tall was seven or eight at that time, I don't know, and uh, Paxton, he might have been a baby, so... Um, <clears throat> He, uh, Randy invited me to come down and play with him to do this, and so I did it, and, uh, there it is. <clears throat> Went and became a marathon guitarist with Randy. So after all that shit happened... This thing's not in order, okay? As you see that, uh, my brick shares, my Lynn Collier stuff. Oh, my 1,000 are gone. Right there. 1,001. That $1,000 bill is from when I went and did this.
played there too. But there's a, a learning experience in my life which really taught me a lesson. It was right after I bought that bike that she came into my life. And it was fun for a while. We had a couple cats. I mean, I had my cat Bones. Bones was a big cat. Bones was fucking huge. As I'll show you. Yeah, that's a train going by. There's Bones beside a stuffy. And the stuffy takes up a good portion of the bed. That was Bones. The only cat I knew that was psycho. He had an eating disorder. He was the most gentle cat you ever saw, but he had an eating disorder. He couldn't leave food out. Well, Sandra one day walked into the bathroom and uh, we, I had a waterfront condo in Falls Creek, fully paid for. She walked into the bathroom, punched herself twice in the eye and phoned the Vancouver City Police and said that I assaulted her and uh, yeah, the divorce came after and I lost the condo and she still has it as far as I know. The niceties of life. Isn't that great? You like that? So now I'm stuck here reading from my book about my life, the fun and joy that I've had and the learning experiences that I've been through. I've had fun. I still got fun to have and I still got things I want to do, but you know what? Don't dwell on the past. Don't let it hurt your heart. It was all meant to happen for a certain period of time. And now that that period of time is over and done with, greater things are coming. We're all going to make it through just fine. You know that. I know that. It's all good. I always say the same thing in my gold panning school, keep people's spirits up, and that's uh, keep your pants wet and your shovels dirty. I love you. I truly mean that. I love you. This is only a brief passage of time.